I remember a time when a scrawny little cat was abandoned in a stinking alleyway. Well, he actually found me when I was uh, left alone in the alleyway. Mr. Whispers nuzzles up with you. And you just sit there for a minute at peace. I've been alone for so long. You've always been there for me. I've been with Siv since he was a very young boy. You've had him for how long? Since I was six. Reach in and I'm gonna pull out a little mottled brown mouse. Would you mind holding mm -hmm. him for a while for me? I'd appreciate it if you would look after him. D do you still have okay. him? Mr. Mr. Whisper? I look inside my, my coat. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I am definitely going to check to see if Mr. Whispers even survived all of that. Oh. I'd like to go back into his pocket now, please. Okay, can my. you read Mr. Whispers' mind like I can read Beef's mind? No. This is going to sound strange, but I've always been quite jealous of your relationship with Meep. I think he understands me, but he doesn't say anything back other than squeak. I want to speak back in his mind. If we could turn him into a meep. I want to help. And you start getting it as you're moving in the rhythm of how her fingers are moving. You see Mr. Whispers in the center of that circle start to glow. And you feel this sensation that you are able to choose. I will turn him into a crow. And he is a crow. Can you understand him? I, I think so. I remember a time and free to do what I desire, share pungent cheese with my tiny friend, <laughs> and imagine what a hero's life would be. I believe in you, heroes of Pink. Well, he believes in you. He believes you've always had it in you. You hear in your head, you are never alone. <laughs>